Hi, I'm Scott Flowers with Cloud Ninjas. Today we're here to continue our series on the Dell PowerEdge R640 server. In this video, we're going to specifically focus on how to rack your R640. Let's get going. Well, hey, thanks for stopping by today to learn a little bit more about how to rack your R640 server. Do us a favor, if you find anything in this video useful, click that like and smash that subscribe. All right, this is going to be a pretty simple and straightforward, straightforward video for the most part. This is going to be how do you put your R640 into a rack. Uh, we're going to show you what rails you use, which are the A7s, and then we're going to actually physically put them into the rack and do step-by-step -step instructions. We are not going to do cable management in this video. If that's something you're interested in, just message our sales team and we can help you with that. Let's get going. All right, so now we are going to put our rail kits on. So first things first, we're gonna grab the left one. You want left facing up and on the left side. Uh, I like doing this with two people, it just makes it a lot easier. Angel, let's go ahead and install this on 10. So I'm gonna slide this to Angel. And essentially there's two pegs in the back that he just clicked into place. And then there's two pegs right here as well. We're just gonna line them up with our 10 slot. But I'm actually a little low. Line it up right there and now that it's in, I can just click it and it will lock into place. So now if I were to shake the rails, it is firmly in there and you can slide the inners out. So now we're going to do the right rail. All right, so now we are going to do the right rail. So same thing, you want right facing up and we're going to put the two prongs in the back and then the two prongs in the front. So Angel, we're going to do number 10 again. So he's got his in, so now I'm going to line mine up. Everything looks good. Actually, I'm a little high. Everything looks good. Now we're just going to click it into place. And once you click it, you can see that the rail kit is firmly in there. And now the sliding rails come out. So now what we're going to do is actually put our R640 into the rack. All right, so now we're going to slide out our inners and actually put our R640 into the rails. So what we're going to do is you pull out the first inner, it's going to stop here. And there's a second inner that will slide out. And now it is locked into place. If I were to try to push the inners back, there's actually a button right here that has a blue circle that you would need to push to slide the inners in. And once you get to here, this will also go back. So I did want to note that in case you're at home and you're trying to figure out how to get your inners unstuck, that's how you would do it. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and get this set up. So the first inner is out for the left, and now we're going to pull the inner out to the right. What I wanted to point out real quick is there are some notches that are carved out here. There's four on each side. Uh, Angel. So if you look at, there's rivets right here. These rivets are what we're gonna line up with our rail kit. So you got that side. Get my back. All right, so we're gonna do the back ones first. So let's line those up. You got yours in? All right, so now we're gonna just simply set it down and do one by one and make sure you get all four in. So are yours in? All right, so if you notice, if I try to push my server back, I can't, right? It's locked into place. So there's a blue button right here. And right here, will you go ahead and push yours for me, Angel? So we're just gonna push them and it'll slide into place. So now you'll notice that our R640 is actually stuck and if we wanted to actually say pull it back out to work on it, these two black buttons on the side, you're gonna push them in and they will pop out like this right here and then you can actually slide your server back out if you needed to work on it or just remove the server as a whole. Well, thanks for stopping by to learn a little bit more about how to rack your R640 server. Do us a favor, if you need any custom built Dell, HPE, Supermicro, IBM, Cisco, we'd love the opportunity to earn your home lab or your data center's business. We do new, we do use, we do AMD Ryzen, AMD Epic, Intel Scalable, E3, E5, the whole life cycle, and we'd love the opportunity to earn your business. Thanks for stopping by, take care guys.